There's a few things I really wish I knew about this AMG before I bought it. Because if I did, then maybe I wouldn't have bought it. And I'm talking about this specific AMG, not all AMGs or C43 AMGs. It's just when I bought this car, I drove over two hours to buy it. The dealership was closed in like 30 minutes, so they had to like stay over to even finish the deal. So let's just say I really wasn't paying attention. Like I kind of impulse bought a AMG like a dumb Anywho, here's the first problem. These tires right here. You see what's wrong with them? I'm gonna give you a second to, you know, really take a gander at them. Comment down below what you think is wrong with them. They're winners. Look around me. It's not winter. It was like 90 degrees yesterday. And if you don't truly understand how bad these tires are, they pretty much make the car handle like a pickup truck with bald tires. Like they handle complete. <laughs> Like no joke the other day, it was raining a little bit and I downshifted just a couple gears. I was probably revving out like maybe 3K RPM, something like that. I barely topped the gas and no joke, the whole rear end of the car is like fishtailing. Even though it's all wheel drive, it is a 71% rear wheel drive bias. And these tires ruin the whole experience of handling the car and driving the car. And then you probably ask me, why don't you just change the tires? Well, good tires are expensive and I'm trying to save some money right now. So I'm gonna have to just deal with them for the time being. Another big thing I wasn't really paying attention to is the brakes. Now, I don't know if you can really tell from just like looking at them on video, but they're fucking cooked. Like no cap, the rotors are warped. They're very bad. They shake a bit at like freeway speeds or whatnot. It's almost not that big of a deal right now because if I'm just doing daily driving point to point B, I'm never like nosing like, oh my God, my brakes are so bad. Like they still probably stop better than your car. And before I bought this car, I've already owned and still own our 2015 mercedes c3 hushed so from the outside it looks very similar but once you open the door and hop in the inside it starts to look a little bit different thanks to the seats the steering wheel the dash things of that nature because this is a 2019 the first year of the facelift and it has like the new steering wheel uh this has apple carplay stock carbon fiber not because of the facelift just because the pacific higher specs on this car same with the Acatera and the steering wheel this was nice standard or the stripe or the full digital dash even some 2020s and 2021s don't have that but there's no ambient line in this car anywhere it just kind of upsets me that whoever bought this car specked it out so nice with all this interior with like the steering wheel the dash the carbon fiber but no ambient lighting my my 2015 definitely don't have it because it's a 2015 and i kind of assumed by 2019 it was standard and i was really looking forward to having it in this car and another thing i really wish i knew before buying this car it's the fault of the previous owner or the dealership or even Mercedes. It's my fault for not really thinking about it because it's a little bit more expensive than like what I thought it was gonna be. Like, of course, I knew like the monthly payment before I actually signed the papers or whatnot. And I did know I was putting no money down. So it's gonna be a higher monthly payment. And just the payment alone is like 700 something. So no money down, AMG, decent. But I wasn't even thinking about like how much the insurance was gonna be. And it's like, I think, 300 some dollars a month so all the pocket watchers oh no he's spending like a band a month on just like having this car before even gas maintenance or if i want to start to modify it then mods i mean i did tint the car which was like 400 dollars, but that's the only thing i've done to it so far in terms of modifications but i'm really starting to feel like this car is a huge mistake and if you want to know more details about that watch this video on screen